wanted to do a short video, take a look at what's involved in properly flaking uh, the mainsail. Uh, the reason uh, we care about doing a good job of uh, flaking the main is so that the uh, sail cover will fit properly, uh, so that it um, uh, doesn't have a lot of bulges and uh, bumps in it, and uh, you don't end up with a variety of stuff uh, hanging out uh, below it. Uh, basically, you want your your sail cover to fit uh, snugly and um, smoothly on the uh, boom and over the uh, sail and the best way to do that is uh, to see that uh, when you lower the main that you flake it uh, uh, nice and neatly on top of the boom. So we'll take a look at what's involved in doing it. First we need to get the halyard ready to be dropped. Usually I give it to uh, First Mate Ellen but I don't need that right now. I can come forward and uh, if I put my foot on the halyard I can just open the stopper and I can keep control of the sail. The objective in dropping the sail is to have the luff folds fall down on alternating sides so that the luff of the sail doesn't bunch up right at the mast. So I control the drop of the halyard. I can do it right here because I'm actually standing on it. So I ease my foot a little, sail comes down. I pull it to one side, then to the other side. And as the sail comes down, we alternate the luff so it falls up one side to the other side. the objective being that you have folds on each side then you can come forward and pull the the creases out of the folds so that the sail is hanging the luff is, is hanging fairly smoothly remove the halyard Uh, boat we bring the halyard back actually put it on the the back of the traveler oops we like to bring the boom over to the port side of the boat trim the main sheet bring the boom to the port side of the boat so that when you stand up in the cockpit it Tighten up the halyard. Okay, now we can see about flaking the sail. The trick to flaking the sail is start from the, the leech, pull about six inches of the sail, pull it straight back, cross over the boom, make a fold, and bring the sail, the leech, the leech of the sail back over the boom pull it back. Pulling it back stretches the the creases out of the sail so it will lie flat. You make take about another foot of the leech getting onto the other side, pull it over again, stretch it back. Now you work your way up the leech of the sail, pulling it back continually as you move forward. Laying it on one side of the boom or the other. Always being attentive to grabbing the leech and pulling it back. That's what gets the, the creases out of the sail 
causes it to lie flat. Now I need some seal ties. Ellen, could I have some seal ties? Oh, here they are right here. Find the small one. Let me put the first sail tie. Put the sail, sail tie on with a slip knot. The way you try a slip knot is you take the end of the line through the loop. You cinch it up a bit. Then you, you make a loop. You slide it under the sail tie back through itself. And you cinch it up. That's a slip knot. What I do with all the reefing line that falls down is I just gather it up, stick it under a fold of the sail so that it's out of sight and it will stay there until the sail is next raised. Now you need to go forward on the cabin top. Again, the process is grab the leech of the sail, pull it backwards. Grab the leech of the sail, pull it backwards. Do another four feet or so. Time for another sail tie. This one's fairly long, so I'm going to loop it around three times just to use up the material so it won't be hanging down. Do another slip knot. You have the loop end. You take the the other end. You run it through the loop. You cinch it up a bit. Bend it back. Make a loop. Slide the loop under the sail tie and back through itself. So That's your slip knot. Continue grabbing the leech of the sail, pulling it back, holding it over on itself as you're pulling it back. Another sail tie. Run it around a couple times to use up the material through the loop. Sink it up through itself. All set. Okay, now the sail's down pretty much. One last sail tie. Right around twice. Do a final slip knot. Goes through the loop end. Cinch it up, slide it under, back through itself. There's your slip knot. Any creases left in the left, pull them out so the sail's lying flat. And now we're all set. The sail's all Fold it down on top of the boom, set for the sail cover to be put on it. This is what the uh, sail looks like after it's been flaked down. Um, it's folded uh, pretty neatly on top of the boom. You can see if you look at the front uh, uh, or the left of the sail that the sail fabric is falling to one side and uh, the uh, reefing lines have been gathered up and just stuck into folds of the sail so they don't hang down.